Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, my name is Mike and today we're going to do a video about knife fight. No, not knife fight, knife fight. So what's that all about? Well, in these complicated times, you know, all of us want some uncomplicated fun, right? Just keep it simple, have a couple of laughs and kind of forget about what's going on, right? Well, my friends at Dogwood Gaming in Maryland, a small indie studio, they thought exactly that. So they put their heads together and said, let's do a fun little game called knife fight. The premise is basically this, uh, as a kid you're sitting in a restaurant waiting for your food and you get bored easily because you're a kid, right? So you take your knife and fork and you challenge your little brother or sister or whatever to a knife fight. That's the whole idea. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of links below and please guys check them out, support them. They're not sponsoring me in any way, they're just very cool guys, you know, and they're my friends and I want them to succeed, right? So check out their game, check out their website and in honor of them what we're going to do today is we're going to model a knife, a fork and a spoon. Here we go. guys here we go so uh, I loaded up the reference image I'll put a link below uh, of course so you have something to work with I'll uh, move this up and uh, yeah like I said uh, can I fight I mean uh, when it comes to small indie studios it's very important that we support each other uh, so I would really appreciate that if you check that out right okay so let's start with a knife here that's basically a standalone looks like compared to the other two so let's go with that first I'm going to take a uh, polygon cylinder. We're going to move it over here. We're going to open up the attribute editor. We're going to go in here and let's set that to, I would say six should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. We're going to go in here and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull that up. I'm going to pull that over and we're going to turn on our X-ray. There we go. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it in. After frame that. That's a W and align that a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to vertex. We're gonna drag select. We're gonna hit R. We're gonna kind of bring that in. And then we'll take these. We'll hit W. We'll push that down to about there, and then that to about there. And keep in mind that this will be rounded off. We're gonna hit insert edge loop. We'll set that to multiple and one, which will put it smack in the middle. Yeah. We're going to go to vertex again. We're going to drag select, hit R, and kind of flare that out a little bit. And there we go. We got a good starting point. Let's close this out, this out. We're going to have to frame. Let's move our reference back a little bit. Come on. Mm, yep. And there we go. And move it. And we don't need those top uh, faces, so let's go to face. We'll hit the tab key and delete those. And then we're going to right click and go to edge, double click, control E to extrude and pull up. We're going to jump back to this view and we're going to work our way up, right? Try to keep the, um, the, um, the spacing the same. Yeah. We're going to do G to repeat. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit W and I'm going to move this all the way up to there. Yeah. Then I'm going to go back to insert edge loop. So, and it's still set to one. So every time I add one, it will be in the middle. Yeah. So we'll do one there, 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 there. And this will give us the spacing that we need. And once we have that, we're going to queue on a keyboard and now we've got a pretty even spacing. And the only thing we now need to do, uh, sorry guys, my mouse is a bit finicky. Come on. The only thing we need to do is start to bring that in. So I'm going to do that in the groups. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do them one by one. It gives more control. Okay, so we're going to hit R, we're going to start to bring that in. And I'm just focusing on the left side there, as this will, of course, be symmetrical.
let's put that right there. We're gonna hit enter edge loop again. It's still set to one. We'll put one there. We'll hit W. We'll move that down to there. And then we're gonna go in after frame. We're gonna go up to the top there. Go to face, and we're gonna select this and uh, this. We're gonna control E to extrude. And let's go in here and do that. Let's give it some thickness. Let's do 0 0.05 and it's going to be rounded out. So that should be fine. Maybe a bit less 0 0.03. That's better. And then we're going to take this and we're going to extrude that 0 0.05, 0 0.03. That's better. Okay. So now that we have that, let's go in here and hit preview smooth. So let's hit three and have a look. Okay, now that looks fine. Um, it needs to be a bit flatter uh, and that's what we're gonna deal with later. But for now, this is okay. So we're gonna hit one to go back and we now need to close up that top section there, yeah? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start off by going into edge, double click, and we're gonna go to mesh and uh, fill hole. And then we're gonna go into modeling toolkit. We're gonna go to multi-cut and I'm gonna go from here to there, hit enter. This will not give me an end gun. This will not give me an end gun, so that's fine. We're gonna hit Q on a keyboard, select this guy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the bevel, all right? Now, we still do not have any end guns because this is still a quad, that's a triangle, quad, triangle, and so forth. So this should be fine. Then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna take this guy, okay? And we are going to um, extrude that. Now, before we do that, keep in mind that we want this guy to be a bit flatter than it is, right? So let's do that first. So we're going to hit R on this guy, and we're going to start to push it in like so. So if we do a preview smooth, it would look a little bit more like this, right? And that's kind of what it should look like, right? So we're going to hit one to go back. That's fine. And then we can go and move these two apart if we want a little bit like that and then we can work our way up okay all right so we're going to go in here we're going to get a face we're going to control e to extrude w to pull up like that yeah and then we're going to go back in here and we are going to move it all the way up uh, as before we're going to go to injured edge loop still set to multiple so we'll go to one one, one, and hopefully you guys can see that. I'll hit four, no, I thought maybe you'd see it better, but you get the idea. So I'll put one in each section, and you'll see it in a minute. Okay, there we go. We're gonna queue on a keyboard, we're gonna go to vertex, and we're gonna start to move these vertices in, right? That one's fine. And here we can actually take a group of them and move them. And then we got one down here and that one all right let's have a look make some room <clears throat> excuse me okay so now that we have that let's smooth this out let's see what we got hit three there you go okay needs a little fine tuning but not too bad okay so let's do that let's go up here let's turn off our x-ray for a sec here so we can see where we need to do some work mainly here and because it's now smoothed out it's a bit smaller but that's fine and you can follow that line exactly if you like you can see it's a bit more round here not too bad and then we want it to kind of 
flip back a little up here. So you can do that if you like. After all, I mean, it's a knife, right? It's not a uh, super complex model. But we want it to look all right. Yeah, that looks right. And then here, that looks all right. Maybe with the exception of this guy. Okay. So, um, almost done with this guy. The only thing left is to hit one to go back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um, put a cutting edge on it, yeah? Um, are we? Let's see. I mean, we're adding detail where there's no detail needed. I mean, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. All right. So that's our knife. Now our spoon and our fork, the base is basically almost the same in both. So we're going to start with that and then it will be fairly easy to finish that up towards, um, the two tops there. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a polygon cube in this case. We're going to hit W, we're going to move it up. Let's go in here and let's move that until it's up at the base there. Um, that grid line is not perfectly centered, so let's hit R and kind of bring that in so we can see it a bit better. F to frame, W to push back, something like that, yeah. We're going to move the whole thing down to the base. We're going to right click and go what's that all about we're going to right click and go to vertex we're going to drag select push that down drag select push that in uh let me think let me think let me think yeah we'll push that in we'll take this we'll hit w we'll move it down to about here and then we'll hit F to frame. We'll go in here. We don't need that face. We're going to right click, go to edge, double click, control E to extrude, W to pull up. And there we go. And we're going to follow the same principle again. We're going to move this all the way up here to the point where both of them are basically the same. We're going to hit injured edge loop. It's still set to one. We're going to go in one, one, one. Nothing complicated there, yeah. Q on the keyboard, we're gonna right click get our vertex. We're gonna start to get things in shape. We're gonna hit R and we're gonna pull that out. Let's turn on our X-ray. And we're gonna start to move upwards. Now we can do this in the groups. That one looks all right. We'll deselect this one and then bring it in a bit these like this one and just keep on going that's not bad we'll deselect deselect not bad and then up here it's going to start to flare out again All right so now that we have that let's get this thing in order obviously it's way too thick so we'll deal with that first we'll hit r and initially this will be flat but later on it will be not it will not it won't it will be not yeah okay uh, if we hit three to preview smooth you'll see that that's not bad 
uh, but there's going to be some curvature to it. But first, we're going to complete the fork and the um, the spoon end of it. Yeah. But we'll hit Control D for now. We'll duplicate it so we can move it over and uh, put it in a line for our fork. And then we're going to start with the spoon bit. All right, so let's start with our spoon. We're going to go back in here. We're going to right click, go to edge, double click, make sure it's selected. Uh, control E to extrude, W to pull all the way up to the top of our spoon, like so. Yeah, we're going to go back to insert edge loop again. We're going to set that to one, put one there, there, there. Now let me hit one to go back because right now it's set to three so you get a different image. We'll put one here, one there, and one there. Okay, we're gonna cue on a keyboard, we're gonna go to vertex, and we're gonna start to pull these out. Okay, we're gonna skip, we're gonna pull, we're gonna skip and pull, and pull. Pull that out as well. All right. So for the base shape, not bad. Yeah. Let's have a look. And we might need to tweak that later on. That's fine. Let's go in here. We're going to right click at it. Object mode and hit three to preview smooth. Okay. And it always becomes a bit smaller when we do that. We'll hit one to go back. We're going to close up the top there. So we're going to go and select that. We're going to get a fill hole. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, vertical edge loops. So we're going to go in and it's still set to one. So we'll do one here. We'll do one here. We'll do one here, which is fine. Then we're going to go in and we are going to start to make that um, curved shape in there, right? Okay. So uh, what we need to do here is go into vertex mode and let me just jump in. And we're going to drag select this area in vertex mode. Come on, yeah, this area, like so. Make sure you got them from both ends. And this is kind of trial and error because what we need to do now is hit B on your keyboard for soft select. And by holding down B and left clicking and dragging, the impacted area is bigger or smaller. You don't want to go all the way into the handle because when you start to move it, that will move as well. So push that back. And let's give this a go, all right? So we're gonna hit W and we're gonna start to move this. Okay, I want it to be slightly bigger. And I think that's not bad. And then we'll make the selection a bit smaller. So we'll go in here and we'll drag select just these. And then we'll actually just select the one in the middle. And for the last one, we need that range to be slightly bigger. All right, so now if you go in here and hit three, it will look something like that. Now we need to tweak it a little bit, as you can see. So we'll hit one. We're going to go in here and we're going to take uh, this vertex right here and that one. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to hit three for preview smooth. And then you're going to see which ones you need to address, right? Okay, so we're going to want to go back and let's see if there's anything here that we need to do. And I would say yes. What we need to do on the top here in edges is hit B to turn that off. We're going to hit one and two, and we're going to round off the top a little bit. We're going to hit R, we're going to pull them out. We'll hit W and push them down. And then we'll take one and two. And we'll kind of push that down as well. We want the whole top to be a bit rounder Hit three. That really looks better. You could even do a little bit more than that. Let's see. So 
So I want to go back and we're gonna do, I think we're gonna add one edge loop here. I think that would be the trick. Let's go and add one right there, yeah. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R and we're gonna kind of pull that out like so. Q on the keyboard, hit three. Yeah, much better. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, and I'm not 100% convinced it's deep enough just yet, but we can tweak that. So let's go in here. Let's take these three. I'll hit B on the keyboard again. Hit W, kind of push that back. We'll take the one in the middle. That one. And push that back. And there you go. So, yeah, not bad. All right, so now we have that, what we need to focus on is the shape of the handle here because there's always gonna be a little bit of curvature in there. So for that, what I wanna do is take my spoon and let's turn off B for a second. E to rotate, hold on J and flip it flat like this. I'm gonna hit W, I'm gonna move it over here. I have to frame that. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna tweak that flow a little bit. Let's do that from this angle, right? Okay, so we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to vertex to begin with. First, what I wanna do is tweak the thickness here. So it's not supposed to be the same thickness everywhere. So let's go and take this area, hit B, right? And then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna start to kind of make that a bit thinner like that, all right? Now, as we do that, we want to have kind of a curve going on here. So we're now gonna go in and take this and hit W and we're gonna start to work our way up. And this is kind of a uh, delicate process and it's not really the method of doing this. It's just, you know, you just have to kind of feel it. So we're gonna Pull this up, oops. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna kind of pull the whole thing up a little bit. And we're starting to get there, but we're not there yet. This needs to come down a bit. And that's starting to look like a spoon. All right. I'm uh, happy with that. I think that looks fine. I mean, the trick here is if you want to know how it's going to sit, what you're going to do is you're going to hit W and you're going to move the whole thing down and you're going to have it rest on the table. And as you do that, you'll see a certain angle where it will sit, right? So if I were to move it all the way down to here, I would have to raise this up. So it'd be sitting on a table, something like that, right? Maybe even down a bit more than that. And then something like this. Okay, so yeah, happy with it, right? Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this guy upright again. We're gonna hit E, we're gonna flip it up as before. We're gonna move it back and at the frame. And let's hold on X and boom, there we go. And of course, because we now created that curve, uh, we want to maintain that curve for our fork, right? So we're gonna copy it over again. Let me just get this back into place, yeah. So let's get rid of this. Let's take this guy. We're gonna control D to duplicate. We're gonna W and we're gonna move it over. And there we go. All right. Now we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get a face. We're gonna turn off B. We're gonna select I would say everything too bad there. And we could actually even work with this, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just do that, right? After frame. And you see that curve going on, which is perfectly fine. That's exactly what we want, right? We are gonna hit one though to go back because we want it to be, um, you know, what it needs to be. We're gonna go to edge. We're gonna double click right there. We're gonna control E to extrude, W to pull up and boom straight up after frame let's go in here and bring that down to about there yeah then we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to insert edge loop again it's still set to one so we'll do one there one there 
one there. Let's do one here, one here, one here, and one there. And um, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, we're gonna queue on a keyboard. We're gonna right click, go to vertex. We're gonna drag select these. We're gonna hit R and we're gonna work our way in like so. That one, actually all of these can come in. So we're gonna start to push that in. Skip a row, that one's fine. Skip a row, we're gonna work our way in a bit more. And a bit more. That one's fine. That one needs to come in. Come in a bit and come in a bit like that. Then of course we got those openings there. Uh, so for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here to edge. And this is the area where I want to work, yeah? So what I need to do now is select from there to there, nope. From there to there, there to there, and there to there and do the same on the back side. So how high am I going? Uh, this guy right here, yeah. So from there to there. Okay, and now what I need to do is bevel that, right? So we're gonna bevel and I'm gonna see how far I need to open that up and this doesn't look too bad. I can make that work for sure. Um, yeah, I can make that work. All right, so now we need to start to tweak this a little bit, yeah? So and I'm focusing on my model, not on the reference image because it's symmetrical, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in, we're gonna get a face and we're gonna select these faces here that's the third one and let's delete those and then we'll do that again for the back side and we'll delete those okay so now we have a much better sense of where they should be positioned and how thick they should be and so forth yeah okay now again uh, at this point we need to hide the reference image a little bit because well not just yet but we need to keep in mind that the image, the reference image is not perfectly symmetrical, right? So we're gonna to go to vertex and I'm gonna focus my symmetry based on my model. So I'm taking these two and I'm hitting R to pull that out. Then I'll take these two and I'll do the same. Take these two. And the only thing I'm looking at is the left tooth of my fork. I'm not sure if it's called a tooth, but I guess it is. And then down here, we got one there and we got one there. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Um, and then we need to tweak these here. So let me have a quick look because the reference model is very distracting, right? The reference image, sorry. Yep. So we're going to hide that for a sec. Yeah. Let's start to close this up here uh, just to make things a bit easier, right? So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to edge and one and two, and we're going to go to edit mesh and uh, bridge. Yeah? One, two. G to repeat, one, two, G to repeat. Okay, so that's closed up. We need to make sure that the vertices are connected properly. So we're gonna go to vertex. So we're gonna drag select all of them. We're gonna go to uh, edit mesh and merge and make sure that's set up, yeah. We're gonna double check that by going to smooth and there you go. And there's no problem there. 
And now we need to get this into shape as well, right? Now we're gonna use the spoon kind of as a reference, right? And we're gonna make sure that the uh, fork isn't cut short. And the way we do that is by inserting an edge loop. We'll do a manual uh, or a one in the middle like that, two, three, and four, yeah? And we might wanna do one or maybe even two here. Two, just to hold that shape a little bit, yeah? Okay, Q on the keyboard, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit three, which makes it a bit longer. Now it's way too straight, like I said. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our knife for a second, we're gonna hit H to hide. We're gonna take our fork and we're gonna look at this view right here. Okay, we get four for wireframe mode. So we can kind of see what the curvature is that we need to follow, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, right click and go to vertex and we're going to start to take these and we're going to hit W and we're going to start to move that into that curvature. And once we've done that, we'll go back in and we'll use our soft select tool to clean it up a little bit. That's basically the same curve yeah not bad and let's see what it looks like yeah i think it's not bad the only thing on the top there is you see that little um thing going on there that's what we need to adjust so we're going to go in here we're going to right click go to vertex drags like these guys and we're going to move that in this direction now let's hide our spoon for a sec so we can focus on the fork. And let's make sure that we got a nice flow going on there. And we're almost there. We just need to take this and kind of push it back. Oops. Take that one. Take that one. And I think that would be fine. So if you go up to display and show all, and we'll get rid of our reference, and we'll take all three of these, and we hit three to preview smooth, we have a fork, a spoon, and a knife. All right. Okay, guys, well, hopefully you enjoy that. And uh, like I said, uh, check out the guys at Dogwood Gaming and, uh, you know, check out the Knife Fight uh, game setup. It's going to be released in July. That's what I heard. Um, I'll put the, the Twitch link below the live stream they did and all that other cool stuff. So please check it out. Show them some love and thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.